Good evening guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another live stream. Sorry about that, a little bit delayed there, I was uh, I was just fiddling about with um, AMS2. I uh, <laughs> hope you're alright guys, hope you're well. Um, I'm good, I hope you are. Right, tonight we've got random racing. Let me say a quick hello um, to the guys that are in chat already. Good evening to Ryan, Stoner, Adam, AJ and Willow. How are you guys? Uh, Adam... Uh, I am driving the uh, Aston Martin, mate, in um, in Dean's event. Myself, uh, Andre, and Stoner of um, Team Worst Pace Scenario will be driving that um, in, a, in a couple of weeks in Dean's charity event. Um, right, let, let me. I'm, I'm still setting up the server, guys. Sorry, I was um, a little bit delayed. A little bit delayed. So I'm, I'm hoping everything's okay. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, Let's go. While I'm doing this, guys, if you wouldn't mind um, smashing up the uh, like button, guys, I'd really, really uh, appreciate that. We're over 4,000 subscribers, guys. We're on 4,002. We've smashed it. We've smashed the 4,000 barrier. Thank you very much for that. 
Um, do you know what? I'm going to start us off with something. Um, what should I start us off with? Something nice and easy to ease us into it. I want to do some F3 tonight. In fact, I might start us off with F3. But where? Where shall I start us off? I'm going to start us off at Monza. I'm going to start us off at Monza in F3. We will come back to the F3s a little bit later if, um, if people want that. But that's what I'm going to start us off with tonight. Let's get over to uh, AMS2, which is that one. So there we are. I'm starting us off at Monza. As always, guys, in these uh, in these lobbies, they're open lobbies, so please do expect um, expect the unexpected or expect the expected. I should say it's uh, they're open lobbies. You're gonna get taken out. Um, if you're anywhere near me, you're gonna get taken out. Um, T1 at Monza, you're gonna get taken out. So, uh, yeah, and tonight we're doing uh, 15 minutes plus one lap just to uh, see if we can catch out a few of the regulars if they if they pick up on it. But as it, as always, guys, youtube.com forward slash at MetsVR. No password required at the moment, but if we get a load of weapons in the lobby, I will restart the lobby with a password. Um, the reason I do the open lobbies, guys, is because... I know it's much better racing when it's just community, but the community, for some reason, we've got, you know, sort of 1,300, 1,200 community members. We don't fill a lobby. So that is why we do I do open lobbies, and plus to give everyone a chance of racing with us. So there we go. That's, um, that's the lobby set. It's open. So 15 minutes qualifying for the first race. Then after that, we'll drop it back down to 10 minutes. We do that every single stream. Just to get people up on the um, out on the circuit. So right, guys, how are you? How is things? How are you doing, Ryan? Hmm. Oh, I do love a cup of coffee. Nice black coffee. <coughs> this skin pack I've got for the 309 was downloaded off a of race department. I'm slowly but surely getting all my skins back on the uh, on the game. Slowly but surely we're getting there. Oh really, Ryan? Okay, so uh, what you what rig have you got now, mate? Good to see you in a rig, spending your hard-earned money on pretend race equipment. <laughs> ah, nice one, Ryan. Nice one, mate. How you doing, Skid Marks? Good to see you, buddy. Hey, Jan. we we'll get a few in, guys, before we get rolling. We'll get, um, you know, if we can get eight or so in the lobby, then we'll um, we'll start going with uh, 15 minutes of quality. But um, I'm, I, I really like the F3 in AMS2. Uh, some people don't like it, but I really like it. <laughs> nice one, Willow. <laughs> Listen, I don't mind people using assists if they're in the like the real world. Traction control and ABS are fine if they are in the um if they're in the real world car. What I don't like is when you know the assists are on when they're not in the real world car. So authentic assists are absolutely fine. But I mean, I set the lobby up using authentic assists anyway, so um, it's all good. It's all good. Right, two more guys, and then we'll get the lobby going. <laughs> two more, and we'll get the lobby going. Thank you very much for smashing up the like button, guys. Let's have a quick look, see where we're at. We're on 18, 19 likes. Thank you very much for that, guys, you absolute legends. Uh, nice one, Owen. One more, guys, and then we'll get the lobby open. One more. Uno.
Willow, uh, tonight is the night to jump in, mate. Tonight is the light night to jump in on these open lobbies, mate. There's no um, no expectations. Just come and enjoy yourselves, buddy. Just come and enjoy yourself. Have a bit of racing. Start with me at the back. You'll be you'll be you'll be uh, you'll be fine in no time. So welcome everybody. If you're new around here, my name is Paul Metz. Um, we've been running, we've been doing these lobbies now for about a year and a half. Uh, pretty much every week. Did I say hello to AJ? I'm sure I did. Hello AJ. If I didn't, I, I apologise. Uh, we've been doing these lobbies for about a year and a half. We built up a really amazing community. Uh, if you'd like to join our community over on Discord. All the links are in the description below. I don't think my stream elements is working by the looks of it, but hopefully it'll start kicking in. Um, uh, if you like what you see, if you love a bit of AMS2, a bit of Le Mans Ultimate, um, ACC next week. Um, uh, yeah, if you like that kind of stuff, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Have I got the... Uh, have I really? You're absolutely right. There we go. Well done, AJ. Well spotted, mate. <laughs> well spotted. How did you know? Because the uh, the camera window was slightly raised. Well spotted, mate. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? Let me have a look. I'm I'm quite amazed that you you spotted that. Is that the only difference? Oh, the, uh, the chat. Oh, yeah, it's slightly lighter, isn't it? it? There is, yeah, there's a little bit of difference. There is a bit of difference. Ah, uh, Willow, listen, honestly, mate, these are the, um, these are the lobbies to come and race, mate. Honestly. The only people that will call you out for bad driving are, are non-regulars. If you've like you've said you're you're new, none of the regulars, which are the people that matter, will call you out at all. So just come and enjoy yourself, mate. Come and jump in the lobby and have a bit of racing. We'll look after you. No, no, uh, no ratings are on Ryan because it um it causes stutters, mate. No ratings. Right, I want to get this one to one again, like we did the other night. Yeah, that is one to one. Lovely. Honestly, uh, Willow, mate. Come and um, come and have a bit of racing. Come and enjoy yourself. It exits clear. Okay, Paul. We've got 30 minutes to get the job done. Let's get some heat to these brakes. It was weird being in a Formula car with a round wheel, but I'm kind of getting used to this round wheel. I really enjoyed the uh, the oval race last night. It's a shame we had uh, a couple of incidents which were, weren't our fault. But honestly, I, re I really enjoyed it. I mean, that, that stock car and that uh, oval It just made for it. It was just such a good race. Especially the first half of the race when there was there was me, Andre, uh, AJ, Ricky, Dan, um, Stig. We was all up the front, just uh, side by side. <clears throat> and we were putting away, which was uh, really good. The first the first pit stop buggered me up because I um, I overshot my uh, 
overshot my garage, my pit stall. So that puts out contention. But like with a couple of um, you know safety cars, we got back to uh, near the front, but then we got um, we got taken out under yellow flag, which really really frustrated me. Uh, uh, whoa. Okay, so we we need a bit more wing. We need a bit more wing than that. This is not enough. Yeah, I think so, AJ. I think you're right there, mate. <coughs> oh, that really annoyed me, Adam, honestly. Because we was uh, we was running about P seven then when we was um We was right near the front, you know, so we could have got back in the fight. Easily got back in the fight, but uh, yeah, it just... Um, very frustrating, that was. Hey Julian, how are you mate? We got any requests from you Julian? You usually like to throw in a, a good uh, a good couple of combos of an evening. I'm happy to um to race anything tonight guys. And that, my friend, is why I put a little bit more wing on. Car left. Oh, sorry, right. um, cell. Hockenheim. Which uh, which version, mate? The modern uh, GP version or uh, the old uh, historic um, out in the forest version? Oh, what a combo that is, Julian! The RSR seventy-four. Modern Hockenheim. Something we don't usually do, isn't it? I think it's partly because I, I I find it boring, but um a lot of people like it, so yeah, we'll do that. We'll do uh, modern Hockenheim, we'll do uh, Bathurst in the uh, RSR. I might have to change the car vehicle, the car thing then to identical. At the moment, I've got it set up as the same class. Sector 1 is 0.1, off the pace. The guy in front has just done a 155.63. I love these F3s. They're slow enough for people that uh, that struggle in the Formula Ultimate Gen 2s. They, they give you that little... Um, they scratch that Formula itch. Virginia. Julian, you're horrible to me. Have you seen me, race of uh, Virginia? I'll do it because uh, you've asked for it. It's, it's another one of those tracks where I need to put some seat time in. Yellow 
AJ knows. AJ knows. And it was the one that um, AJ comes up with all the time. And I knock him back. I think Adelaide. Adelaide is another one. I don't mind having a go at Virginia. It's something slow. Ah, community lobby, mate. Community lobby. see cars uh, if you can tracks don't matter because um, as long as I've got the track everyone can race on it Sector one times okay. Daytona GT3 at night nice well we, we're guaranteed to do GT1 at historic Spielberg when Ricky comes in that will be his go-to um, choice. Okay, Bob, five minutes to go, five minutes left. Sector two is 0 0.31, off the face. Spielberg in anything is brilliant. I think the first time I've done Spielberg Historic was in the M1 Pro car. The car in front has just done a 153.00. You've used half your fuel. The car in front's lap time is at 153.16. <clears throat> oh, it's not going to be quite enough for P1. Good lap. That's your quickest so far. Is the lobby full? I don't... I don't... I might be. It might be. At the moment, Julian, it is, I'm afraid, mate. I mean, I could, um... If there's a... Uh, I don't really want to open up a second lobby just yet. I mean, we could increase the um, the grid slots, but then it, it, it shuts off a lot of tracks. <laughs> there speaks a regular. But knows. Once they crash out, they, they tend to log off. Or go find another race to crash out of. Um, let's go out of the pit box. So I think we can uh, probably lose a little bit more, a little tiny bit of downforce. But I don't want to lose too much because um, I'm comfortable with uh, with being a second or so slower. So I'm, I'm comfortable with the setup. Um, so we're doing 15 minute races. So let's put in um, let's put in 10 laps of fuel, which is going to be more than enough. Oh no, we don't want to exit. We don't want to, we don't want to muck about with um, 20 litres, that'll do us. 20 litres. We'd, we'd probably be a little bit heavier than um, some, but let's overestimate. Yeah, see, I love the Porsche Cup. Porsche Cup at Hockenheim. That's a good shout. That's what we'll do when we do that uh, combo. So what we've got, we've got, um, we've got Porsche Cup at Hockenheim. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. We've got the RSR 74 at Bathurst. We've got Virginia at um, uh, GT4 at Virginia. Then we've got three good ones to um, to keep us going. 
pretty good combos there, guys. If you see a spot that opens up in the lobby, guys, jump in it. Even if you miss this race, get in there for the next race. So we are currently P6. We're one and a half seconds slower than uh, the guys in uh, the the guy on pole. He's had a 149 dead virtually. Very nice lap from him. So we're losing. He's obviously running lower wing than I am because um, we're we're only a couple of attempts slower in the first section, but then we uh, the second and third sections, which are the fast sections. Um, up with slow. Yeah, if you can, just jump in now for the next race. We'll probably have to do at least um, at least one race in the uh, in the twenty the twenty twenty four stock cars as well, guys. Tonight. We've got a few regulars in, but it's um quite a lot of unknowns. But we always tend to get them in the uh, in the first couple of races. I'm a bit I'm a bit concerned that I've qualified in P P five at Monza in AMS two in an open lobby. Auto Club Speedway Roval. Uh, Fontana's a moment. We, we raced Fontana last night. But the oval section. We only raced the oval. I don't think I've ever done um, uh, the the Roval um, layout, Ryan. Yeah, I don't think I've ever tried it, Adam. I don't think I've ever raced it. Right. Please don't start bugging out AMS2 because I, I, I'm not in the mood for it. Oh. P5, 14 minutes. You've not got much time to sort this out. We're ready. Formula Inter at the Roval. Right, there's four there's four combos we've got lined up then, guys. Four combos. Let's rock and roll. P5 at Monza. Can we survive? D1. Padster. The Paddy man is here. The main man is here. How you doing, Paddy? Just jump in whenever you can, uh, Paddy. It's, um, it's, it's a bit full at the moment. P5. Okay, Paul. Be ready.
Green, let's go, let's go. We're through T1, somehow. We managed it. We give Sims a little uh, nudge there. Sorry, Sims, you broke a little bit early there, but all good. Paid actors. <laughs> Paid actors. Well, Sims is a good racer, so uh, apologies to Sims there. I don't know who we got behind us. I don't know. Uh, I don't know the, uh, any of the three guys behind me. So uh, yeah, the only one I know there is uh, I think Phil. Is that Phil from um, the RPM races? I don't know if it is or not. And Cell is the only one I really know behind me. These are going to um, bugger off because they're like using a lower wing. Hopefully we can pull away a little bit in the twisty bits. Carry a bit more speed in the corners. Actors, I love it. Do you know what? I'm taking that chicane like I do in Le, Le Mans Ultimate. And there's a way more efficient way of taking it in AMS2. You can really abuse it a lot more in AMS2. What a great film that is, Groundhog Day. Love it. Absolutely, Owen, you really can. You can't do it so much in LMU, but in uh, in AMS2, you can uh, you can really abuse it. <laughs> hey, Pete. The leader's just done a Ah, the KS wheels are really good wheel, mate. Really good wheel. I think we're going to get a little dive here, I think, from uh, Mad Monkey. Probably not a dive, it just easily left. take me here because... Uh, Hold your line. Lower Hold wing your line. and all that. Clear left. No, Paul. Come on, mate. Defend your position. The car in front is Monkey. Car left. Clear uh, left. I'll give him a little tap there. Let's wait for him. This is where I'm carrying that, that much more downfall, so I was a lot quicker in the corner. It was an attempted, it, it was an attempted, it weren't a full-on murder. You've got 
got 10 minutes left, 10 minutes to go. Come on, let's put this hard work to good use. Yeah. It's a little bit of manslaughter. A little bit loose. All right, Paul, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. Oh, what's going on up here? A little bit of shenanigans. we haven't done for a while as well guys the old uh, Lancer the Mitsubishi Lancer right side clear right a little bit of a lock up there <laughs> a little bit too late on the brakes there guys I wish the old Audi TT wasn't a mod because that is a great car and we ain't done the mini either for a long time so we'll have a bit of mini action tonight the old uh, jcw and where else other than donnington oh mad monkey's got it a little bit wrong all right play right We need to get some race room uh, touring car action going as well soon, guys. Race room touring cars. Brilliant. Some of the best racing we've had in, in the community on that. On your right. Still there. Still there. Clear right. Oh, there was never, there's never room to overtake there. Never. Come on, monkey. You just need a little bit of patience, brother. That was such a bad move, man. Such a bad move. And he hasn't waited for me, has he? No, of course not. Such a bad move. I mean, I was really late on the brakes as well, guys. Oh, that's a bad move. Anyway, guys, it's open lobby. I kind of knew it was going to happen. <laughs> Premeditated. <laughs> it's just a bad move. The thing is, though, after Mascari, he easily would have overtaken me because he's running a, a lot lower wing. It's just poor racecraft, isn't it? Just poor racecraft. Five 
minutes to go, five minutes left. Okay, Paul, you've got half your fuel left. Yeah, it's just, um, it's just an experience, I think, uh, Julian. I mean, clearly, we've been running for the last, like, what, five laps? And he's clearly quicker than me in a straight line by quite a lot, you know, maybe five or ten mile an hour. So after Ascari, he would have had a nice, easy run down into Parabolica. But it had to send it somewhere where there was never ever going to be the space yeah I forgot to turn the magnet off uh, Owen I don't think I can turn it off that's just the thing you see the Mets magnet I mean, the line that he was on, like up the inside there, and the speed he was going, even if I had backed out, I don't think he would have made the corner. Because I, I was incredibly late on the brakes there. But obviously on the racing line, so... Uh, back to me. <laughs> I've still enjoyed it though, I've still enjoyed the uh, the car with a round wheel as well, it's, um, it's nice, it's comfortable. Just haven't got as many buttons on this wheel, so that's, um, that's why I don't use it as much. Right, so what was it? It's a Porsche RSR at, um, at Bathurst next up, guys. The Porsche RSR 1974 version. One of Dud's favourites. I don't think Dud's in uh, at the moment. Oh, he is. Dud is in. Hello, Dud. I didn't see you there, buddy. Oh, the reason I didn't see him is because he's actually behind me. <laughs> I've not been down... Uh, it's the first time I've been right away at the back here, Dud. That's why I didn't see you, mate. <laughs> I'm only joking, my little sexy Dudley. Studley Dudley. Right, so Porsche RSR 1974 at Bathurst. And because we're doing a historic uh, car, we're going to do historic Bathurst, guys, if that's all right with you, Julian. Oh, Dad is, isn't he? We've missed the Sturm. Go on, Dad. This is the good thing about these lobbies, guys. Wherever you are on the grid, I'm usually not where Dad is at the moment. Wherever you are on the grid, you'll get a battle. Hopefully you'll get a battle with a regular, because then you know you can trust them. And not a, not a random that you just can't trust. Guys, has anybody um, been watching uh, Shogun? It's a new um, new series. Uh, well, I say new series. It's been out for a while. I mean, it's mostly in Japanese, but I've, I've been really into it. I just want to know how many episodes there are in the first season. All right, Paul, the next car is Kappa. If anyone's been watching that. Shogun, it's called. I really like it. It's um, like I say, most of it, a lot of it is in Japanese, but you get your you know your subtitles and that. But half of it's in English as well. So, but it's, I'm 
I like historical oh, things like that. Getting closer. The gaps come down to it's not bad, it's Julian. It's not um, it's not brilliant, but it's all right. If you like that kind of thing, there was a series on Netflix uh, a few years ago called uh, Marco Polo. It was about the um, the Great Khan, the Kublai Khan. Really good that series. Oh shit! Well done, good pass. Marco Polo, it's called. There was a couple of seasons of that. It's a really good, uh, really good. If you like that kind of thing, like historical um, series and that, then yeah. Marco Polo, it's called. Clear right. P12. One more lap to go. Well, I've been doing series reviews. Pinky Blinders! And of course you've got the um, the classic Vikings. That is brilliant, Vikings. The first three series were really, really good. Uh, do you know what? I've got the hang of this car now. Look at that, throwing it around the Lesmos. Ah, uh, there is eight episodes. Okay, yeah, but well, I've watched all eight. It kind of finished um, abruptly, so yeah, I was hoping there'd be a few more, a couple more. So it's all right, Shogun, but um, it's a bit slow at times. Very little fuel left. But if you like that sort of historical, political, you know, feudal Japan sort of thing, it's all right. The ranch? No, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. The ranch. What's that about, Adam? Oh no! So this this is what happens when you do um, series reviews. What's what's good on Netflix this week? Sorry, skip marks. Right. Oh, where my what the fuck? Ah, don't beat me! That's the winner! He's had a great battle though, Dad, hasn't he? I enjoyed that, despite being taken out. <clears throat> I enjoyed it. Good fun. What other things have I watched that are, are, are absolutely amazing? Obviously, um, uh, The Expanse, that's another good one I really got into. The Expanse, sci-fi type thing. I like The Expanse because it's got that kind of... Um, that, that lived-in universe look, do you know what I mean? It's not all sparkly ships and, and all that. It's uh, like a real lived-in universe. Hey, Jesse. Yeah, Julian, it's, it's, it's great, The Expanse. No, that's race complete. Have I, have, I, have I forgotten? Am I still supposed to be racing? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, dear. Now, see, Star Wars has got that lived-in universe. Like, Star Trek hasn't. And, like, that kind of thing. But, um, The Expanse is like, uh... It's like... It's very believable. What could be, um... You know, like, the fact it's in our solar system and, and all that. Do you know what I mean? So, I, I really like that. I can't believe I forgot the plus one lap. So Mad Monkey's doing burnouts in front of me. Like, just, I think, just to troll me, I think. Yeah, go and, um, go and overtake someone else in a, a Scari. An impossible, uh, impossible overtake, Mad Monkey. Right, what else, uh, what else have I watched? Obviously, I, I loved Vikings. That was brilliant. Um, 
if you like sci-fi, Battlestar Galactica, like the remake, is absolutely one of the best sci-fi series ever made. BSG, brilliant, brilliant series. There's four seasons of that, and there's quite a few little um, mini films as well. BSG, absolutely brilliant. Right, we have got coming up Bathurst in the Porsche RSR 1974. I might have to see if I can change the the um, the car to identical for this one because I, I don't think anyone's going to go in the um, in the uh, what's the uh, is it the Corvette isn't it? I th do you know what Adam? I, you, you're absolutely right. <laughs> one more lap. What? We're waiting. I can't do anything until we go. Um, until the thing is done. Uh, Mr. Ewing, don't be so impatient. Oh, and if that's the case, I'll um, I'll put it on that. Um, someone might take the Corvette, mightn't they? They may well take the Corvette. Right, it's uh, it's down here, isn't it? Is it in the um, touring cars? No. Which ones? Which ones are they, guys? G, that's it, GT Classic. GT Classic. There we go. We're going to be taking that. And Bathurst Historic. And that. There we go. That get rid of a few. So I, I, I don't know, uh, Dud. Probably because... Um... <clears throat> I can only change the uh, the lobby, guys, when the, the countdown finishes, guys. Uh, do you know what, Dad? I didn't even know it was there. Well, that's probably why. <clears throat> oh, there's a few in the Corvette. There's a few in the vet. Thank you very much for smashing up the like button, guys. If you're being entertained tonight, please do hit the thumbs up. Please do consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to join our amazing community, the links are in the description below uh, for, for Discord. 1,200 or so members plus, 1,200 plus. It is the best AMS2 community out there by a long way. There are imit imitators out there that pretend to be uh, the, the, the pretenders. But we are the original. We are the best. And we have the best racers. Good evening, Dry Lunch. How are you, mate? God, that is, uh, Dad, are you in the Corvette, mate? Is Dad in the Corvette? I wonder. I, I bet he is. I bet he is. He, he likes a bit of American muscle. Mind you, there's, there's a couple of big-ass straights here, aren't there? They've only got to get through the... Um, the uphill and downhill section, and then it's uh, then it's their um, their circuit, isn't it? Yeah, Dud's in the Yankmobile. Oh, I forgot to change the qualifying, guys. Sorry, you've got um, you've got fifteen minutes qualifying. He's here, Skid Marks. He's here, just not in the lobby just yet. Right, let's get this all set up one to one. There we go. Well, there's a lot more Corvettes than I was expecting. This RSR though is a great car. Got 14 minutes to get a decent lap in. We've got cold brakes all round.
Look how early that Corvette has to break. Now this is effectively uh, a multi-class race. This is where the Porsche is, uh... They have dry lunch in the historic version. This is where we're going to lose out massively in the Corvette. No shit. Right Look how quick they, um... On your right. Clear right. He's not making it. Left side. Clear left. On your left. Hold your line. Clear left. I don't know. These guys, they just drive on the tr They drive like there's no one else on the track. Go right. Crazy. Go right. We definitely want to be starting from the back in this one. Let's jump on board with AJ. What's AJ in? What's AJ in? He's in the Porsche.
<clears throat> hey, Code Zero. Oh, he's he's joined. He's left. He's joined. I don't know. Is he still in? Is he in the uh, in the lobby? Not at a moment. Not at a moment. Right, what was the next combo, guys? It was uh, Hockenheim, wasn't it? Hockenheim... I can't remember the car. Let's go back up. What did um, AJ want at Hockenheim? I can't remember what car AJ wanted, but we'll sort that out. Uh, hello, Coco Zero. How are you, buddy? That's a new fastest lap for Caban, 216.9. Welcome to the channel, guys. We have got 42 viewers. Can we get that likes ratio up a little bit? We've only got 33 likes. If you could smash that like button, I'd be very, very appreciative. Woo! If you like what you're being uh, being served up tonight, hit the like button. Come and join our community. Come and race in uh, the best AMS2 community on the planet. All the links are in the description below. AJ, just uh, I think he just wants to hit the, the barriers just for something to do. Just to make his life a little bit harder. Drifting it round, up against the Corvette. He's got no chance down the straight. He's got to make up. Oh, the Corvette's sticking with him through the twisties. Nice driving by whoever that is in the Corvette. I've got a feeling I know who it is. Let's have a look and see if I'm correct. Is it this man? It is. I thought it might be uh, Reese. AJ stuck with him down the straight, though. I'm surprised. It'd be better on the brakes. <laughs> nice lap there by AJ, 217.7. I'm going to hang out with all the slow guys at the back. 45 viewers. Yes, guys. 45 viewers. 35 likes. Come on. There's got, to be, there's got to be 10 of you that ain't at the like button, surely. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Right, let's jump in with uh, Owen. Uh, no, he's in the pits. We won't do that. Let's jump in with Dud. He's in the vet. Studly Dudley driving the Corvette. Look at that. Sexy, uh, sexy green and yellow car. On my screen, anyway. It may be a different colour if Dud's got a, a paint pack installed. Or a livery pack, I should say. He's got a nice little lap time going, though. 218.9. It does look mean, doesn't it, that Corvette? It just handles like a shopping trolley. A, a rocket powered shopping trolley.
Blood decided he didn't want to take the corner. He's gone for a little um a little drive. Right, right, Owen's now out on track. Let's jump in with Owen. In the RSR. What a good looking car. The old Porsche. AJ, if you can hear me, what car did you want round um, uh, Hockenheim, mate? That's right, the Porsche Cup. Porsche Cup. Right, don't forget, guys, the plus one lap. Nah, the Porsche's got no chance, mate. Not here. It's, it's effectively a multi-class race, so uh, if you look on it, it's a multi-class race. It's all good. Fastest lap for Bourne, 211.4. Yeah, look at that. Reese has just um, smashed it in a Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to forget. I'll try not to. So the guys in the Porsches are doing what? Two twenties. Two twenties. So uh Yeah, we put we put ten laps in, eleven laps, like just to make sure. We won't be doing ten laps. Ten laps worth of fuel. It looks a proper mean motor car, doesn't it? It really does. Squirming under braking. Yeah, that's um always gonna be the uh the problem there. Is it just your audio, um Julian? I don't think I've done anything different with my audio. Oh, 
Okay, thank you, uh, AJ. I know the other night there was an issue with one of the car, one of the um, there was no there was no engine sound, was there? And it was very very faint. That was that was something to do with me. But um, I don't know. It's just weird. It's this AMS two quirky, isn't it? AMS two quirks. Oh, I'm begging Razor to sort multiplayer out this year. Do you know what? If it if they don't sort it out this year, if we don't have any kind of ranked racing this year in AMS two, I think that's it for the sim. I really do because uh, I'm sure a lot of people will be going over to uh, AC two next year for sure. Yes, yeah, yeah, I get that sometimes, uh, Julian. It's really annoying. Really annoying. Well, I've not been swayed to go back to iRacing with their rain. I've, st I've still got a year's subscription to that, but I've, I've got no interest in it, uh, to be honest. It's too much of a grind. I don't enjoy iRacing. I enjoy AMS2 because it's fun. and It's no pressure fun. Right, we're going to do 10 laps. That should be enough. Um, that's it. No, um, <laughs> flashbacks of the, the community cup race every time you race these. Where was that? I can't remember where that was. The um, the community cup race in these. <laughs> My best performance in the Community Cup was the last race. I think I got a P2. Ah, Kanzai. Kanzai! Very apt, since I've just finished watching Shogun. How you doing, G-Bear? I'd like to do some race room uh, in the touring cars because they are a lot of fun. I would like to do a bit of race room. I'll see if I can have a word with Roy and it, it, Roy will be able to help me set up a couple of servers for uh, ACC and um, and race room. I've got a, I've got a really powerful computer sitting there that I can put it on. I can put a, a couple of servers on. Uh, next week ready, we'll be doing a lot of ACC and that's purely. To get used to the cars uh, for the um, for Dean's event. Go go go! We're starting from the very back. We've got Dud doing backflips. Car right. Play right. Yeah, I've saw, I've saw he's got that, but um, I just want to get a, a server set Four, up that I can right. uh, I can administer here and say it's easy like to just change tracks and and stuff. I don't know if you guys have been following the um, the Drive for Dean uh, Discord channel, but um, qualifying has now changed to a week long event, and I, I don't quite know how they're doing it. I think everybody's got to go in from the team, set some laps, and they'll do an average or, or something. I, I don't know. It's all got a little bit too. Um, too eventy for me from, from from what I originally planned or what I re originally wanted was just just an event just to mark Dean's presence I wasn't expecting all like bops Watch and like left. qualifying for this and qualifying for that and <coughs> left side left. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn up and race for six hours with uh, with my team 
I'm not interested in any kind of qualifying, to be honest. And all that caper. I'm not really the man, Jim, am I? I think you might have gone outside of track limits there. So, Paddy, how did it work then? Like, do you have to go in as a member of a team, or you just go in individually? That's what I don't get. But I don't get a lot of stuff, to be honest. Let's be honest. I love using my sequential shifter. When I get to use it, I love using it. Yeah, I think the qualifying server opens up this weekend. I think you can do as many laps as you like. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, so we we're already registered. Yeah, that's that's all good. So you just go into the server and just set some laps then, Adam, yeah? No, nah, we'll do that next week then. For anyone that's uh, new around here and you're wondering what shifter I'm using, guys, it's the uh, the Moser sequential shifter. Full disclosure, Moser sent this to me free of charge to test it out, and uh, I absolutely love it. And I wholly recommend um, getting a shifter. Not particularly the Moser one, but for uh, just for a bit of immersion... But from what I'm told, the Moser one is uh, really good quality. I mean, I think it's good quality anyway. But if you haven't got a shifter, get a shifter. A sequential shifter. They are absolutely brilliant. And if you do um, fancy getting a Moser one, please do uh, use the uh, affiliate link in the description below, guys. It won't cost you any extra. But I will earn a small commission. So if you want to help support the channel that way, financially, it's, uh, like I say, it's it's only about 2 or 3%. It won't cost you anything anymore, but uh, I will earn a small commission from it.
And that goes for all, uh, uh, all Moser products. Cold front tires, the gap to Gen Zone ahead is increasing. It's now 8.7 seconds. I'm, st I'm really starting to get used to this round wheel now. I'm really starting to like it. I still haven't got the, uh, the false feedback dialed in exactly how I want it. The false feedback is set up for my uh, FSR wheel. Okay, Paul, that's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. That lap time was 226.8. That's your fastest lap. Oh no 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 no! Don't do it! Don't do it! Just needs to go down a touch. <laughs> the gap to Gen Zone ahead is increasing. It's now 30 seconds. Got a little bit more Porsche action coming up next, guys. Hockenheim in the Porsche Cup. It's modern Hockenheim. Ah, you okay, shitbag. Focus, keep it smooth. V18. It's Stoner! Courier battle! Fight! buddy yeah I wanted to get my VR set up for tonight but I just didn't have enough time you need to push if we're gonna and because I'm going to be doing a lot of ACC next week I'm probably not going to bother uh, setting up VR until after Dean's uh, charity event I want a, I want a completely different game to play with you guys, away from sim racing. So one night, you know, like when I just want to have, even at like an MMO. Like I don't know if any of you guys are into like adventure questy type games. I am. I, I love an MMO <clears throat> where we can set up a guild and just like, you know, some nights just um, just do nothing but 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 just slay dragons and uh, fight goblins or something, do you know what I mean? I would, I would love that. 
just one night, you know what I mean? Just blow off um, a bit of steam away from sim racing. Car left. Clear left. Come on, mate, defend your position. Studley, Dudley! The guy in front is dead. Yeah, I, I don't think a lot of people are into, like, MMOs and stuff like that, though, Paddy, unfortunately. It's, it's a shame, because I, I love an MMO. I really do, just like... D19. Star Wars Galaxies was my all-time favourite MMO. Like, a complete and utter sandbox. But it was just, it's just great for PvP. But it's just dated. Ricky boy! Two minutes to go, two minutes. Yeah, anything, uh, anything like that, Adam. Okay, Something well, away from sim racing pass. that we can just like... One night, fact, do you know what? Let's just blow out the cars for one night. Let's play something completely different. A VR shooter. Pavlov. Have you tried um, Half-Life Alex, uh, Adam? Um, Paddy? Yeah, see, I was... I didn't play a lot of games, Ricky. I, I, I played mainly MMOs and sim racing. So um, I know it's a, it's a little bit um, like I, I played a little bit of World of Warcraft, not a great deal of that, I'll be honest. But Lord of the Rings Online, The Elder Scrolls Online, I, I really liked. Um, believe it or not, Final Fantasy XIV, I really liked that. Oh, that's very um, anime inspired. But the the questing and stuff in that it was brilliant i really enjoyed that and i would have loved to have done that with uh with a guild like some of the um some of the bosses in the dungeons and stuff it really requires like some like a lot of coordination and i, I would love to have a, a guild up in like some mmos i really would call of duty and battlefield yeah, see, I think a lot of us, as we've got older, we've sort of moved away from games and 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 more into like things like this, like sim racing. Do you know what I mean? Although I don't think I'll ever grow up from gaming in general. I'll always be a gamer. Twentieth place, last lap. I would have loved it if Starfield was multiplayer. That would have been amazing. Starfield, but uh, multiplayer. And that's another thing, I can't play single player games anymore. They've got to be multiplayer. Yeah, Lord of the Rings Online was brilliant. I loved it when it first came out. And I played it for about four years, Adam. New World had uh, potential to be really good. But that turned out to be a lot of bug-filled, uh, game-breaking bugs as well. I do tend to um, to play all of the uh, MMOs that come out, the new releases. Trying to get my um, Lord of the Rings Online, World of Warcraft fix. Not that I was ever big into World of Warcraft. The lore weren't really for me, but um, Lord of the Rings Online and Elder Scrolls Online, I really enjoyed. And like I say, believe it or not, Final Fantasy XIV. And you can play a lot of that as a new, like, as, like free. Completely free, I think the first, um, I can't even remember how many, um, maybe the first whole expansion, I'm not sure. But if you're into your MMOs and you don't mind a bit of anime type inspired um, stuff, the adventuring and questing 
On your left. In uh, Final left. Fantasy 14, was brilliant. Ah, uh, Penny, I don't know if you heard me the other night. I spoke to Kieran uh, a couple of days ago, and he sends his regards uh, specifically to you, but also to everybody, uh, everybody in the community. First of July, he becomes a daddy for the first time. Yeah, see, I've, I bought a, a new um, Elite Dangerous account, didn't I? Because I've started doing some Elite Dangerous streams, and since my computer buggered up, I've just not, re I've not installed Elite Dangerous yet, and that in VR is, is epic. It is the absolute uh, VR game that sold me on VR. When I had the, all the way back when I had the CV1, I've still got that by the way, the CV1 with the old uh, light stations uh, and that. Yeah, the lighthouses. That game in VR is absolutely epic. Llewellyn, hello, mate. Long time no see, buddy. How are you? Yeah, you've got the same uh, hot acid that I've got, Paddy. Because uh, he, he, Kieran got the same as me, so you've got the, um... There he is! There he is! Hello, Kieran! Speak of the devil! <laughs> Good to see you, Kieran. Right, we've got Hockenheim next, guys, in the Porsche Cup. I've got, I'm rocking the SRC wheel tonight, Kieran, the round wheel. It's actually a really nice wheel when I get used to it. Uh, not to worry, Ryan. I didn't uh, miss out a lap again, did I? Uh, Star Wars Galaxies for me, uh, Adam. Star Wars Galaxies was absolutely amazing when it first came out. Even um, Legend style SW, SWG Legends is not bad. If you're into all that, you know that it's um, yeah. I love a bit of MMO. Left side, clear left. Right here we go, guys. Here we go. We have got a little bit of Porsche Cup Carrera Cup as chosen by Mister Drifter himself, AJ. Where are we? Where are we? No. Right, let's do it um, by... What did Dad say? Do it by... Um... Oh, here you go. Porsche Cup. Now, what's the one to have here? It's the 4.0, isn't it? Let's do that. Oh, look, we've got kind of a pink car. That'll do. And we're at... Hockenheim, the modern GP version. Oh, I got we got um Hans in him as well. Oh quality, yeah. Knock that down to um ten minutes. And what would I what would I do without you, AJ? You you remember everything, mate. Right, we've got four spots available, guys. Four spots available. If you're not, if you're not in the um, in the lobby, jump in now. Even if you don't like this combo, take care, Jim. Yeah, great to see you in the uh, in the chat, Kieran. Especially after our little chat the other day. 
Yeah, Dad, I'm with you there, Dad. <laughs> I'm with you there, mate. <laughs> We are up to 4,004 subscribers, guys. We have completely smashed the 4,000 barrier. Absolutely amazing stuff. Thank you very much, guys. Really do appreciate your support. Well, we've got the Porsche Cup at Hockenheim. Hockenheim. Uh, yesterday, Julian. Yesterday, mate. It was 30 minutes before I came, went on live. 30 minutes before. So it was offline, but it was still only on 4,000 subscribers when uh, when I went live. So, yeah, it wasn't live, unfortunately, but it was 30 minutes before. Literally 30 minutes before. So although we didn't get it live, we kind of did. All oh, right, we've got to sort this out. That's not one to one. No, that's not one to one. No. There we go. One to one. Can't see the hands on the, uh, and I can't see the steering wheel. Perfect. Perfect. Your exit's clear. Watch the white line. Okay, Paul. We've got eight. Ah, uh, Ricky's done a mess. He's done a mess. He's forgotten to turn his wheel on. Oh, yeah. There's a there's a, there's a corner there, Mets. They call in the Apex Hunter. <laughs> Ricky's back. Ricky messed up. There's another corner there. Yeah, we don't do this track very often. And the reason we don't do this track is I absolutely hate it. I've never liked it. It's boring. I've never liked it. There are certain tracks that I just uh, avoid like the plague. And this is one of them. But I guess it's horses for courses, isn't it? Car left. Clear left. I haven't played Dark Age of Camelot, um, Adam. Talk to me about it. Yeah, I'm the same with Snetterton, Rob. I don't like Snetterton either. Oh, look, we made the corner this time, guys. This is going to be another one where I'm going to be starting from the back, though. PVE with PVE, okay. Yeah, see, I, I don't mind that. I 
I like the PVE stuff because, you know, for levelling up and, and, and what have you. Has anyone been keeping up with um, Starfield at all? Has there been any major, like, big um, updates to that yet? Because I will go back to that at some point, just to, for play. Um, because I, I enjoyed it when I did play it, but it was just very... Um, it's very shallow. Not enough depth. Oh, no! I didn't want to... I didn't want to qualify! Uh, who should we jump on board? Let's jump on board with Ricky Boy. Oh, that's a nice livery. I like that livery. That's that. It's the right kind of blue, that. No, no, um, no MMO will beat my first ever experience of MMOs, and that was um, Star Wars Galaxies. Being being a Star Wars nerd, that was the ultimate nerd out for me. It really was. Yeah, I mean, most of them have got that the you know the the holy trinity of uh, tank DPS and uh, heals. I could never get into uh, being a tank. I don't mind being a healer and DPS, but I could never get into being a, a tank. <laughs> yeah, I liked um, uh, Swotor. But again, a little bit... I mean, the story in Swotor is brilliant. The Old Republic. But I, I, I want to... I would like to find an MMO where we can all jump on and just go and do some questing. Go and do some questing, do some dungeons as a group. Do you know what I mean? As a raid or whatever. Just go and, uh, just go and have a bit of fun one night. We don't need all of us, you know, like, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight of us. Get into a group and go questing, do some dungeons. That's what Final Fantasy XIV is really good for that. I might have to download that again. <clears throat> download it and... Uh... Hey, five speed. Nightingale. Let's have a look at that, Nightingale. And the, the beauty is, we've all got Discord, right? So we can all, like, you know, be That's chatting and and coordinating and stuff like that. So, yeah, we, just, I need, we need to find a game that, everyone, that everyone's going to play. Maybe I'll do a couple of streams of some MMOs and people might think, oh, do you know what? I fancy a little bit of that. But I think I'm gonna. I think tomorrow I'm gonna download, um, re-download Final Fantasy fourteen. I say, so if you don't mind a bit of anime, like uh, to your to your questing and stuff, it's um, it's really good because you can play. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can play the whole entire uh, first expansion, so you get a lot of a uh, lot of play for your money, which is nothing. And it's great for questing. Yeah, that's that's what I like about um, MMOs. You, if you go out questing as a group, inst instead of like you're doing the quest on your own, you're all in a group. The quests get done quicker, and you just have a little, you just have a bit of fun. A massive update on Starfield. Um, Final Fantasy fourteen is a monthly fee, um, Llewellyn, but the first expansion is entirely free. 
I don't think you need to spend a penny. And there's a lot, there's a lot of, um, a lot of play for your money. I'm pretty sure it's um, a monthly fee. But if you download it, you can play the first expansion entirely through with not m hardly any restrictions. Because that's what I did. I played it for about, um, about two months, I think. Old school RuneScape. I never, I've never played RuneScape, uh, Nick. The time that was um, around, I was playing uh, Star Wars Galaxies and um, Lord of the Rings Online. Well, do you know what? I'm, ex I'm excited to re-download Final Fantasy XIV, you know. I really am. <laughs> Yeah, SWG was my first MMO, Adam. Star Wars Galaxies. What a game. If they was to release that now with uh, updated graphics, I, I, I would probably stop sim racing overnight. <laughs> I wouldn't, of course. Uh, but you, you get my gist. Just everything about that. like the, the crafting was brilliant. I loved the crafting. I loved the gathering and find, getting out materials. I loved being like one of the first people on my particular server to have the top end armor. I made I made so much in game money. I was um, stinking rich and I could buy anything I wanted. But I put in the groundwork. You know what I mean? Like getting all of the uh, the stuff. I'll have to look at that an update on Starfield. Battlefield. See, I've never been into the Battlefield games. Maybe I better have a look at them. But I, I want something where we can all go out questing, like, you know, a, a group of us, you know, six or seven of us, even more, go out just questing and doing shit. <laughs> Getting shit done. Ultima Online. Okay. Guild Wars 2, there's another one that I, I kind of uh, enjoyed for a little while. Another fluke poll by you. <laughs> 15 minutes. You'll need to get on with this. 17th place. I've got no idea what the lap times were, so I'm just going to put in... Um, but that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Should put a bit more uh, downforce on as well. Bosh. Sea of Thieves. New World would have been ideal. New World would have been brilliant if it wasn't so um, broken. Even Star Wars The Old Republic, maybe I, I could create another a new character on that. But no, I'm excited to download um, Final Fantasy XIV. I'm going to do it tonight, later on. Download it and get it all set up. Or Lord of the Rings Online. I love Lord of the Rings. Proper old school game, that. Very clunky with the combat and all that. But just being in that setting. That Tolkien setting. Leisure Suit Larry, yes! Okay, maybe I'll have another look at New World. Because I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed playing New World. Lord of the Rings Online, though, yeah, Adam, I'm, I'm, if, do you know what, if there was enough people that said, oh, come on, let's have a go at Lord of the Rings Online, even though it's old and clunky, the combat's very clunky, I'd be all over it. I'd be all over uh, Lord of the Rings Online. 15 minutes, you really need to get on with it. Okay, Paul, get ready. Oh, uh, I've really got the MMO um, itch now, guys. Leisure suit, Larry. Yes, man. I've really got the um, the MMO itch. Paddy, if you want an adventure game, um, Skyrim in VR is amazing. Green, green, green. Right side. 
I don't think there'd be a lot of people uh, responding to that survey, uh, Adam, being a, a sim racing community. Clear right, car right. Hold your line, clear right. I think it'd just be a question of, um, we'd probably get about eight people watching the stream. But it's not about that, it's just about having a bit of fun in something other than sim racing. Clear right. On your right. Clear right. Left side. Still there. <laughs> Who did I just Clear took left. out there? I didn't take him out. Sorry, Esther Mans. Completely my bad. Car left. Hold your line. Clear left. It would probably be something like a, that. Would probably be like a Friday night stream because I, I don't really uh, race on a Friday anymore. Wednesdays and Fridays are kind of my days off. So uh, yeah, if we should do anything different, like MMO wise, or it would probably be a Friday night stream. But I, but I would be playing a lot offline because <laughs> once I get into an MMO, I, I get really uh, sucked in. Clear right. Okay, Paul, the next car is... On your right. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Clear right. Ricky, you're facing the wrong way, mate. Ricky! You're facing the wrong way. I've just followed them all. Just followed them all off. Your outside track limits there. Oh no, we got Ricky Boy behind right us. Side. Clear right. Left side. Still there. Clear left. The guy ahead is. I, right. try, I tried to turn him then. I'll be Clear honest, right. Ricky, I did try to turn you then, mate. <laughs> I've got to be honest. I did try to pit him. <laughs> He was too, too wily for my... Week one, everyone started. Week two, everyone level seven. <laughs> Adam, that is so, that is so true. I would be hardcore in it, big time offline. That is so true. I get really engaged in MMOs big time. On your left. It's that um 
Hold your line, clear left. It's that thing, isn't it? Oh, just one more level. Awesome. We'll just, well just see if we just get one more level or one more dungeon. It's that instant gratification uh, reward system, isn't it? I can't pronounce the name. It's like a drug. Too deep. Still fastest lap for me though. I can't get up to Ricky now. I can't um I can't challenge Rickster. How much better this lap is though? Crazy. And as soon as I look at chat, I fuck up. Ah, oh. why? All right, Paul. The next car is. Why? That. that might be outside track limits. Oh, uh, fuck this. Let's just watch the um, the pros at work while I have a quick look for um, downloading uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. Let's jump on board with. Um, let's jump on board with. Um, Let's jump on board with Paddy. He's in VR at the moment. Let's see how he's coping with the old VR. He seems to be coping very well, doesn't he? Having a little battle there with Stoner. Actually, there's a few of them, really. Look, I mean, Dud's in this battle as well. Let's jump on board with Dud. Four-way battle here. Right, um, we've done, uh, we've done that. What was the other? Tell me what. Take your time, start it back up, get back in the race. I'm just trying to, I'm just going back up to, um, see what the combo uh, choices were. Ah, Virginia. Virginia with the GT4 is the next one. Virginia, I don't know how I've got spoke, I've, I've been roped into a Virginia in the GT4s. That is next up, guys. And then we're doing the Roval at uh, Fontana in the Formula Inter. And then we're going to do... Yeah, we're going to do that, um, Adam. I've never done the Roval. And then we're going to do um, probably, because Ricky's in, GT1s at Historic Spielberg. And then that might probably be the end one, I think, tonight. We'll see. We'll see how we're going. We'll see how it goes. There's, uh, that's like three races. That's going to take us up to like half nine or so. Thank you very much for joining me tonight, guys. I hope you're being entertained. It's been great, to be honest. I've got to be honest. I've really enjoyed this stream tonight. <laughs> uh, 
I, uh, Jesse, I think I watched that race, actually. Um, you at Virginia. I do try and catch a lot of your stuff, um... You know, when I'm pottering about, or if I'm on the computer, because, uh... Um, oftentimes, it's like gone midnight when you're racing, and, I, and I'm not not around. So it's been a couple of times when I've managed to catch you live. But I do, uh, guys. If you haven't um, subscribed to Jesse, he does a lot of iRacing racing content. He does a lot of solo endurance stuff on iRacing. racing. So if you're uh, if you're into a bit of iRacing, racing, um, go and subscribe to uh, Cars and Coffees. He's a really nice guy. We've known each other for a couple of years. We've been following each other uh, for a couple of years and kind of support each other with uh, with content and stuff. So go and uh, go and check Jesse out. Go and uh, go and give him a bit of love. It was quiet for a little while with a broken computer, if I remember rightly. Went off the radar for a little bit. I like that strategy, Rob. I think G Bear just heard GT4s. He's in the lobby. He's like Ricky with GT1s. If he is GT4, a mystical G Bear will appear. Hey, Dino. Right, let's just jump back up with um, Paddy a bit. Oh no. This this is the battle here, isn't it? There's no one. Oh, actually, the uh, Ricky and uh, Ricky and Owen in a battle. Rascals there as well. Three ways. A mystical G bear will appear. <laughs> <laughs> That's two minutes left, two minutes. <laughs> Right, I'm going to set up the um, set up the lobby for the next race, guys. Uh, but I think Mrs. I think Mrs. Metz is in, so I'm going to go and say hello to her quickly while you guys are qualifying and doing all your doing all your stuff. I'm clearly going to be starting from the back of Virginia because I don't know the track still. It's one of them tracks where I should know it, but because we don't race it often enough, I, I never learn it, and I should because it's I'm told it's a brilliant track. So I should learn it. So has anyone here ever played Final Fantasy XIV? 
I'm told it's great. I'm told it's great. But I haven't really, um... It's loads of fun. Bit of a learning curve at first, but worth learning. Yeah. I'm told it's a good game, but it's a very anime-inspired... <clears throat> Maybe maybe we need a little bit more of a manly one. Apparently it's a little bit girly. <laughs> I'm I'm up for Lord of the Rings online, guys. I like it's old and clunky. How many people can you have in a fellowship on that? It's only four, isn't it? Or five? I can't remember. They're really good, Willow. I've got to be honest, the only thing, the only problem with Race Room is the graphics are a little bit dated, but it still looks really nice. It still looks really nice, Race Room. Um, and the multiplayer is a little bit yeah, very hit and miss. But um, driving physics and false feedback in Race Room is brilliant. It's a really good sim. It's just, uh, it's just... I've said it I've said it countless times on this channel about three years ago uh, it might it might it might even be longer when they first revamped their online and they had ranked racing it was brilliant it, like they really they caught something they caught a little bit of fire but they never capitalized on it they never improved on it and uh, kind of lost its way if they had improved on it or, or built on the the really excellent rank system that they created, it it would it could have been a lot bit a lot different. But like a lot of these companies, like a lot of these sim racing companies, they concentrated on uh, new cars. They concentrated on uh, new content rather than uh, building on the. Uh, on the building blocks of the actual sim. This is what AMS2 do. They release all these new shiny new toys and they're, they're wonderful. But without that, that uh, for me, like multiplayer and the ranked racing should be the first things on the uh, on the dev, dev room. On the dev's desk, let's sort out ranked multiplayer. Let's sort that out. Um, but uh, if I was to create a sim racing game, that would be the number one priority for me, multiplayer. Multiplayer and ranked racing. The number one thing before any kind of, uh, you know, new content and all the rest of it. But uh, Razer, you know, they like their new content. They're not shiny new toys. It's like they don't want to concentrate on the, on the stuff that they really should be doing. The way sim racing is going, I, I don't expect to still be racing uh, AMS2 in two years' time. I, I just don't. I just don't expect to be racing AMS2 in two years' time. I think I would have moved on to something like a set of course or two, or something that's got a, a more stable multiplayer. As much as I love AMS2, and I know this is an AMS2 community, and, and I'm sorry if that, you know, hurts people... But I, I honestly don't expect to be um, still racing AMS2 in two years' time if they don't sort out the ranked multiplayer. And, that, and that's just it. We'll, we'll have the odd, um, you know, lobby, but it won't be a staple. It won't be a staple in uh, in the streaming schedule. I am. I'm bored with. I'm bored with AMS2. I'm bored with Le Mans Ultimate at the moment because uh, they they seem very reluctant to change stuff. Especially with the scheduling. That's why I'm looking for other things. Like, you know, maybe a bit of a... <laughs> hate crime. Arrest him, Paddy. <laughs> hate crime. I am. I'm bored. I've, I'm a little bit burnt out at the moment with sim racing. I've got to be honest. I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. Well, what did we say we're doing? Can't remember. Oh, yeah. Virginia. Well, I'm going to set this up, guys. 
And then I'm going to go and um, say hello to my good lady. Virginia in the GT4s. Of course we're going to be in the, uh, the Ginetta. Hate crime. <laughs> Hate crime. Arrest him, Paddy. Right, let you guys choose your cars because I'll get told off by G-Bear if I don't give you time to choose your cars. Underspace, the freelancer light game was released. I might have, I'll have a look at that. Have we all chosen our cars, guys? If I see lots of blue thumbs, I know I can click start. There we go. That's enough. That's enough. Right, while you're... Um, let me just put... I'll put you on board with G-Bear. Uh, just while I go and say hello to my good lady. Because I ain't seen her... Um, I haven't seen her since last night, actually. <clears throat> Come on, guys, click your thumbs up. The more people that click the thumbs up, the quicker the lobby gets going. <clears throat> Four thousand and six subscribers, you absolute legends! Thank you very much for that. Very much appreciated. What support this channel has had for the last year and a half. You guys rock! <coughs> right, drive. No. Uh, return to pit box. Monitor. I throw you on board with G Bear. I'm sure he's going to be qualifying. No. Owen's out qualifying first. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go and say hello to Mrs. Mex.
has just done a 156.06. Restart it, get the clutch in next time. Adam, thanks for racing tonight, mate. Thank you for racing tonight, buddy. Don't download Lord of the Rings online. I might have to jump back into Lord of the Rings online, guys, for a, for a little couple of streams. Okay, Paul. five minutes to go, five minutes left. Get a little hobbit out. A little hobbit burglar. Thank you very much for joining me tonight, guys. I do hope you're being entertained. If you are, please hit the thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, Please do consider subscribing to the channel and join the 4,006 people uh, that have gone before you and joined our amazing community. That's I still can't get my head around that. 4,000. 4,000 subscribers. See, G-Bear makes this look easy. <clears throat> Let's just ride on board with him. Cockpit cam. Don't know what's going on with the um, the audio there. Do you know what? Since this update, the audio's been a little bit dodgy. I need to learn this track. It does look a good track. Abby, how you doing, buddy? <coughs> yeah, G-Bear makes it look easy. Wow. Yeah, I'm all good, Abby. All good, mate. All good. Boy, some fast boys in this tonight. But we're going to be, like, back here. In the night, you know, the, the two minutes, two minutes thirties, and that. Ah, uh, thank you, Dave. Uh, it might be full, Abby. It, it's full at the moment. It's probably why you can't see it. We might get to this, uh, the situation where we might need to have to start opening two servers again, guys. But saying that, summer's coming, so it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be f full up all the time. <coughs> right. So what times uh, are they? Right. So let's put in. Um, yep, yeah, ten laps. That's enough. Let's put in a bit more downfall. Sorted. Nice one, Abby. You might not make it in this one, um, 
but you'll be in for the next one. Where's Ricky gone? Ah, oh, he's not here. He's not here. We was gonna, I was going to try and do um thingy for him uh, for the next race, but he's not here. Oh, I need to change the filter on the um, on my vape. Paddy's in the Cayman. Right, the um the goal of this race race guys is just finish it. Cause I am absolutely crap around here. Virginia International Crap Way is me around this uh around this um track. Where's um Ricky's gone, AJ's gone. Where have you gone, guys? Ricky and AJ have gone. <laughs> you don't know this layout. Oh, well. Get on with this. B twenty five. Ah, okay. What's what's Roy got on tonight then? He got a championship race on, has he? Go karts at Monza. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Is it a championship race, uh, Stoner? Supercar championship? Hey, Andre. B-25, are you ready? B-25, 
green, green, green. Right, Virginia International Crapway. What the hell? Car right. Car left. Clear left. Good start. Right side. Clear right. <laughs> Come on, Mix. I'll see. I had no idea that right that side, corner was that right. bloody. Um... <laughs> oh. Oh, come on, where are you going? Oh, boy, let's go this way. I had no idea that it was that sharp, that corner. Just when you think you're out, it pulls you back in. Left. Yeah, go on. Clear left. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck me. I hate this track. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> Fucking hell. I hate it. This is why I never race it, guys. Because I absolutely detest it. <laughs> oh, fuck off. No. No. Let's watch. I'm, I refuse to race it because I'm just so shit. Right, let's find a battle to watch. Dino. Code Zero and Paddy. No, they're still a bit far away. Absolutely, being an absolute chicane. I hate. I, I hate the track. I hate it. Here you little turncoat, Ricky. You go and race with Roy. Go on. Right, as Ricky's as Ricky's been a little turncoat. Let's do um. Historic Spielberg in the GT ones. <laughs> the leader's just done a one forty nine point nine zero. Oh, Paul, restart it, get the clutch in next time. Right, what was what was next? It was a uh, Formula Inter, wasn't it? At Roval, at, um, Fontana Roval. And he's smashing it in the Porsche, isn't he? In the old Cayman. You've got ten 
Right, well, let's jump on board with um, CM and Julian. They're not really close enough. Stoner and Dino. Yeah, that's a, that's a good battle to watch. Oh, I, I, I hate this place. People do say to me, though, you'll love it once you learn it. But uh, it's, just, uh, it's just one of them ones that I don't... I've got no enthusiasm to learn it. But maybe you're right, because this looks good racing. Oh, what happened up there? There's a takeout. Is an all-you-can-eat takeout now? Right, Rumble with Stoner. Who's that guy in the wrong fucking hell, man? That was disgusting. Who was that? Who was that guy? It wouldn't be any of these ones, these guys. Who was that that was going the wrong way, man? I've got no idea, but they, um... Was it this guy? That's a new fastest lap for Bourne, 149.72. Okay, Paul, that's half distance. Fuel levels are fine. Marks is now retired. Fucking idiots, man. Sonoda, this guy. And this guy. There's two of them doing it, um, AJ. Absolute children. Five 
minutes to go, five minutes left. Right, I'm out of this. I'm restarting the lobby, guys, with a password. I can't be doing with that. If we could fill a lobby, guys, if we could fill a lobby with just community, I would, I would uh, not do any more uh, open lobbies. But unfortunately, we don't fill the lobbies. Um, tall is the weapon, is the um, password, guys. Um, I'm not doing Virginia again. We'll wait for the other one to finish because uh, some of the guys were actually racing in that. Uh, Formula Inter, wasn't it, at Roval? That's uh, Fontana. Oh, it's the one with the um, the penis in the middle. Cheers, AJ. This is apt, isn't it? We've just uh, left a load of tools in the um, in the other one. Right, guys, the password for this uh, this lobby is tall. T double O L T double O L. I might try it on Tuesday. I'll try it on Tuesday if we fill the lobby with a passworded community only lobby. Then I'll I'll, I'll stop doing it. But the minute we start, you know, once the you know, if we can't fill the lobby, I'll have to open it up to a random lobby again. But yeah, that was a shame. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, AJ. But at least, at least we know. At least in this one, I can, uh, I can boot them. So let me put in. Uh, well, there's no point in putting it in uh, YouTube because. Uh, We've only got a couple, a couple more races. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, just children. Do you know what I mean? Like, like you say, imagine buying a, a sim and then going online just to wreck people's races. I mean, that, that's pretty sad. Um, a pretty sad life, isn't it? So we'll just wait for the um, the other lobby to finish, guys, and um, I'm sure we will get a few people come over. But yeah, it's a bit of a shame that there's there's other lobbies, uh, there's other other guys that um, stream that has all that in their fucking lobbies. I don't want it in mine. Is the other race still going, guys? Yeah, it was um, Sunoda and God Majestic. Both of them were doing it skid marks. That's why I've restarted the lobby. The password is tool, guys. T double O L. Let's put it in the uh, YouTube chat.
No, it shouldn't be ranked, mate. It's just got a password, uh, Ryan, that's all. No ranking, mate. No ranking. We don't I don't have the rankings on because it um it upsets the uh, the lobbies. Is the other race still going, guys? Just wondering if um if that's still going. Too many rankers tonight, yeah. That's why we've got the um the passworded lobby. Oh, it's still going. Okay, that's all right. I don't mind waiting for the guys that are um are still trying to race. We will wait. We shall wait. Bit of a shame. But um on Tuesday I'll try it. I'll try it. if we can fill a community lobby, then um we'll we'll do that on Tuesday. But if we can't fill it, we'll just open it up again to uh, open lobbies. I, d I don't want to race with just like, you know, like 10 people on the grid. If we could fill a community lobby every night then uh, or every um, Tuesday and Thursday, I wouldn't bother having open lobbies. I would just keep it as a community. Yeah, probably. Probably. More than likely. Too many rankers. Too many rankers. Everyone's leaving. Ah, we'll just uh I'll disconnect. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but everyone's leaving me. It certainly was, Julian. No Steam connection? Oh, no. Has Steam gone down, guys? Oh, no. Steam down. No, my steam's okay. I think. Uh, I, I think we. I think I'm all right, AJ. Hopefully, um, you'll be able to get back on, mate. Right, same lobby as before, guys. But uh, obviously, with the password of Tool T W O L. Uh, you're welcome, Julian. Thank you for racing tonight, mate.
Uh, yep, there we go. Let's go. Hey, go. How you doing, mate? Nice ones. What we like to hear. Spies. The spies are out. The spies are about. Oh dear! A couple more, and then we'll get the uh, get the lobby going, guys. A couple more. As an XI racing dude, we're missing out on much in terms of physics. Uh, I racing's missing out a load in terms of physics. I think. No, it does. It does. It look like it's got a penis in the middle of it. Code zero. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> There's a penis in the middle of the track. Yeah, Hans, I don't like Virginia. Um, if you if you want to come and race in, in this one, guys, the password is tall. T double O L. Yeah, Code Zero's a good lad, uh, Hans. He's a good racer, mate. And it's set up. We want loads of downfalls here, I think. <laughs> right, I just want to keep an eye on the people that join and make sure we don't get any idiots again. It all becomes clear, AJ, doesn't it? We need to get <laughs> it all becomes clear. <laughs> I've never driven the Roval version, though. Where, where are we going here? Hey, yeah, babe. The uh, password. Yeah, of course you are, mate. The password is T double O L. We had to put a password on because we had a couple of idiots uh, join. I've got, I've got no idea where I'm going here. We had a couple of idiots join and started driving the wrong way around the track and just generally being idiots, being children. Oh, Paddy would have a, Paddy's going to have a field day on this track with all these cones. He's going to be in his element. Oh.
Okay, Bob, we're seeing lots of front locking. What the, what's, what's going on with me tyres? Not a fan. I mean, wheels weren't rotating. I was stationary and still had the locked up um, animation going. What's that all about? Right, I don't want to get in the way of um, anyone because uh, this is literally my first ever go on this track. Too many cones here for my liking. Paddy's going to love it, the cone killer. He's going to collect a lot of cones if he's uh, if he's in. It's not very good, Reese. I've got to be honest, mate. Especially this here. <laughs> it's horrible. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's worse than Virginia. Now, the the worst track for me in this game is um, it's one. It, what's the airport one? I I really get confused with that one. I can't remember what tr what track it is. It's like this, it's got cones everywhere, and you think, what the what the actual F is going on here? The leader has just done a 152.3. Well, at least the, um, the, the, the weapons didn't follow us, guys. No, I don't mind. I like... No, Goania's lo brilliant. I love Goania. No, it's... Um, oh... It might start with a G. It might be Cleveland. It might be Cleveland. It may well be. Now, Goania is amazing. I love Goania. Goania. Hey, Zed. I can't think of a Brazilian track that I dislike. I've got to be honest. I think the Brazilian tracks are some of the best in the game. Cascavel is a gem. Goania is a gem. Ibarra, although it's not Brazilian, but it's still South American. Ibarra is amazing. Uh, Curitaba is amazing. I like that. I, I don't think it's a bad Brazilian track. He's lost. <laughs> Dad's lost on a on an oval. Infield oval. He's lost. Just find your way to the outside, Dad. You'll catch the oval somewhere. 
Just find your way to the outside. And you'll 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 discover the oval. I'm not I've got to be honest, I ain't a fan. Take your time, start it back up and get back in the race. You will you will find the oval somewhere, mate, if you get to the outside. Let's jump on with AJ for the last bit. Oh, he's about to finish his lap. Right, let's come out of here. Ugh. Casual simmer exposed. I'm a, I'm a casual simmer. I don't take it seriously at all. <laughs> a co-driver and base note. <laughs> <coughs> it's slippery around the head. <laughs> I did, I'm, I'm not a fan, I've got to be honest. I have to be honest, I am not a fan. Right, what was the um, what was the next uh, combo, guys? I know we're probably going to finish on uh, Spielberg uh, in GT1s. Oh! G-Bear must have sat nav. <laughs> Fastest lap for Nino, one fifty one point six. Should we have a um a stock cars at uh into Lagos? Look, it's nine o'clock, right? So after this race we'll do um we'll do two more races, but we'll do um random grid starts. And we'll do uh, maybe the twenty twenty four stock car. At a track uh, at, at, at a Brazilian track of your choice, and then we'll finish with uh, the GT ones at Spielberg. But they'll both be random grids, guys. Random grids, and then that'll take us up to about ten o'clock. That's what we'll do, guys. That is what we'll do. Close that down. Other than the two idiots that were in the... Um... Ah, g has just been disconnected. No! No! <laughs> Oh, I can't believe G-Bear's literally just got disconnected and he's not going to be able to get back on now, is he? We could blow this one out and just do three um, random good races. I'll restart the lobby and just do three round Because no one really likes this track, do they? No, we're in the countdown now, G-Bear. No one really likes this track. So if you want, we can restart the server... And do three random good races on tracks that we quite like. Blow this track off. Yeah, I agree. I'm sorry, Ryan. I, I really don't like it. Nah, I hate it. It's horrible. I'm making an executive decision, guys. For those that want to stay, you stay. But I am restarting the lobby. I'm restarting the lobby with three random grids. Three random grid races that'll take us up to about 10 o'clock. Right. Have you raced it in real life, Ryan? Three random grid races. Right. It's all, all capitals, mate. Um, guys.
Same password. And we, what did I say we're going to do? Um, uh, session settings, qualifying off. What did I just, what did I just say we were going to do? What two tracks did I say we were going to do? Two races. Oh yeah, stock cars. Stock, 2024 stock car. Oh, we've got a new subscriber. Oh, Z Zed, thank you very much, bloody. That's very nice, very kind of you. 2024 stock car. Shall we do that at Cascabel, guys? Or do you want another? It's got to be at a South American track. What track would you like? Cascavel, Cordoba, Galio Airport. That's the one I don't like. Oh, no. No, it's not that one. I can't remember which one it was. It might be that one. Buenos Aires number six. Oh, yeah, okay. That's not Brazilian, but we'll take that. Buenos Aires number six. Right, let me just make sure it's um uh race settings. We will take the plus one lap off. There we go. Right, this is the first race, guys. Buena series number six. Let's get the lobby open. <laughs> That track is out to show off everyone. Uh, you're, an ab you're an absolute gentleman, Zed. Thank you very much, mate. Absolute gentleman. So we're going to finish on three races, guys. We're going to do this one. We're going to finish on the GT1s at Spielberg, because everybody like likes that, uh, historic Spielberg. But we need one more in the middle. One more in the middle. <clears throat> Three random grid races. A Le Mans in the middle. Okay, what car? Abby, the password is tall. T double O L. Tool. Let me put it in chat. <clears throat> the ultimate two is too quick for some of these old guys um reese so i'm gonna i'm gonna say no on that it's a bit too quick i ain't got the right wheel on either so yeah i'm blowing the uh, ultimate gen 2 out We'll have a little think about it while we're uh, while we're going. Well, I'm going to give it one more minute, guys. If you want to come racing, there's ten of us at the moment. Uh, the radicals are um, are uh, what do you call it? It's mods. Not everyone will have the uh, the radicals. We could do the um we could do the uh the Rocco or the P three P threes Rocco's Road America yeah Rock Rocco's Road America would be a good shout right that's it that's the free that's the free locked in guys we're doing this one stock cars then we're doing the radicals at Road America and then we're doing the um the GT ones at Spielberg historic all random grids. And we're going to go now because uh, we've, we've waited enough. Mm. 
Boost. 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 Don't forget to map your boost buttons, guys. 14 minutes. Pole position. The track temp is 26. The air temp is 21 Celsius. Get to use me shifter. Oh, what a what a, a blistering lap I set for pole. Oh, what a lap! Unbelievable lap. I pulled out all the stops on that one, guys. Yeah, Owen was on uh, earlier on. Uh, Ryan, um, it's only because I've restarted the lobby, mate. We're doing three random grid races, so uh, jump onto this one. Same um same password and uh, uh next race we're doing the 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 Rocco at Road America then we're gonna finish on the GT one at Spielberg historic not not <laughs> there's only a, a couple of you um that liked that track Ryan I hated it <laughs> Oh, you know what, guys? I've still got the um, oval set up on. I've got no wing or anything. Shit. I've still... Oh, no, I haven't. No, I ain't. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Ignore me. Different car, isn't it? Well, there's only three of us. Ah, uh, it's code zero. There's only three of us, mate. It's <laughs> only three of us. <laughs> Everyone's got disconnected. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, Ryan. Um, oh, uh, has retired from the race. Nah, you'll be all right, man. I think everyone got disconnected. Speedy has just retired. I think we're gonna to have to uh, call it a night, guys. It just don't seem to be. Uh... Let's try one more. Let's try. Um... Yeah, it's. Uh... It's gonna to have to be uh, an early night, guys. Unfortunately, <laughs> let's um, hope. Hopefully, that that, that Razor sort out this um, multiplayer. Oh, I think we're all done for the night. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, not to worry. We tried. I'm not going to try again because it's uh, just going to keep going. So we're going to call it early. Road Atlanta coming. Sebring coming. And we'll end up with just lobbies like this. And uh, it just all goes to, all goes to pot. Uh, guys, you've been absolute legends tonight. Thank you very much for uh, always on a Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah. Um, thank you for your support. Like I say, getting over 4,000 um, 4, subscribers yesterday was absolutely incredible. Um, I really do appreciate all of your support, guys. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow. I, I, I'm not planning on streaming, but if I do stream, it might be something completely different away from sim racing. So if you fancy doing something, I'll, I'll let you all know in the uh, in the um, 
in Discord if we uh, decide to get up a completely different game and just do a little for, just for a little bit of fun away from sim racing. Yeah, it wasn't bad tonight, other than the two idiots at uh, Virginia. Other than that, there's some decent racing for Open Lobby Racing. Next Tuesday, I'm going to try with just a passworded server. Um, a community only. If we can't fill it, then I'll restart the server with uh, an open lobby. Uh, Zed, you're an absolute gentleman. Thank you very much for that $10 or £10 or whatever it was. Thank you very much. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, guys, that's it. You've been legends. I've been Mex. I will see you next time. Thank you for subscribing. Owen Pilson. Thank you, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.